Well, of course, it's Fat uh, Tuesday today. Tomorrow is Lent. It coincides with Ash Wednesday. And for many across the country, they are going to be partaking in this. But for some cultures here in San Diego, like the Chaldean culture, Lent already began yesterday. So joining us now to tell us a little bit more about this religious time and what it means for so many is Father Simon from St. Michael's Chaldean Catholic Church. Hi, Father. Great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, great to see you, Logan. Thanks for having me. I, I want to talk about uh, Ash Wednesday and, and Lent, but but you're quite the celebrity on TikTok. Uh, you have a huge following. Can you just briefly tell us what you do? Because you talk religion and food, it sounds like. Yeah, it started with just talking religion, basically. Uh, but then I realized that I just want to be myself on there. And so I thought it would be okay to just show some of the stuff that I eat and some of the stuff that I do, like they're eating something at a Padres game with some monks, uh, just to show people that the gospel message is for everyone. And even we priests are normal people and we like to have a good time and eat good food. Yeah, we all thought that was fun. Padres going to the Padres, right? I mean, fathers going right. to the Padres. Yes. Yeah, that was excellent. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about, uh, how about Fat Tuesday? Can you talk, talk about kind of what's going on today? Because a lot of sure. people are eating, right? They're enjoying themselves. They're having fun because tomorrow is when it gets serious and that's when you want to give up something for Lent. And how does all that work? Right, yes. Yeah. So Lent is a 40-day fasting period for the... Catholic Church and some other Christian denominations participate in it. And like you mentioned earlier, some of the of the Christian churches actually start Lent on Monday of this week, including my church. I'm part of the Chaldean Catholic Church, which is one of the Eastern rites of the Catholic Church. We are originally from Iraq and we speak Aramaic, the language of Jesus. And our bishop, um, Emmanuel Shalita, he's the bishop of the Western United States and he's based in San Diego. He is in full unity with our patriarch, um, our Luis Sacco, who is in Baghdad and in full unity with the Pope as well. We have a different way of expressing the same faith. And so one of the things is that Ash Wednesday was never part of our tradition. We always started Lent on Monday. What is the purpose of Lent and Ash Wednesday and, and the 40 days of giving something sure. up or fasting? Yes. Jesus, before he began his public ministry, went into the wilderness. He went into a desert area for 40 days and he fasted. He did not eat anything. And that was in preparation for his ministry, which was going to end with him dying on the cross. And actually the culmination of it would be his resurrection. And so during Lent, we fast for 40 days. We don't fast from every single thing like Jesus did. We're not exactly like Jesus, but we try to imitate him as best as we can. We try to fast and uh, pray and to give also in imitation of Jesus who fasted, who prayed and who gave of himself perfectly so that we can better ourselves and so that we can also uh, prepare for his resurrection. So how would somebody fast? Do you choose certain foods to eat and not eat during a certain time or certain days? Yeah. Good question. So the church has some rules, some basic stuff that everybody pretty much has to follow that is a member of the church. For example, like not having meat on Fridays, uh, fasting on Ash Wednesday a, a little bit more or on Monday like how we did because it's the first day. We have a special fast on the middle day also. But the church also encourages, besides the basic requirements, the church encourages us to do things that can help us spiritually. And actually, I want to mention that I mentioned our patriarch. He, uh, he's in Baghdad, Iraq. He actually wrote a beautiful pastoral letter to uh, all of the members of our church where he spoke about the fact that we should fast not only from food, but we should fast from bad habits or from things that distract us from God. We should also pray more during this time. And we should also give of ourselves, maybe more than we normally do. We should give to people in need. We should maybe have something like, if we think of something that we normally do that's a bad habit, maybe that we spend money on. An example that he mentioned would be to stop doing that bad habit, at least for these days, and to save the money on the side that you would have spent on that bad habit, to save it on the side for the poor, for the needy, for those that are being affected in Turkey and Syria because of the earthquake, other people in the Middle East, or to find others in need and to yeah. help them. Yeah, a time of self-reflection. Are, are right. you going to be doing the, uh, the ash tomorrow at your parish? You know what? Uh, that's one of the differences. A lot of people ask uh, uh, me, what's the difference between the Chaldean church and between the Latin rite? 
Catholic Church. And one of the differences is that is that we don't do that uh, Ash Wednesday service. We actually do something special three weeks before Lent, which is called Ba'utha. It's an Aramaic word uh, for supplication, which is a time where we fast for three days in a special way to commemorate when the prophet Jonah went to Nineveh, which is northern Iraq, and he told the people to repent there. And, and they repented, and they actually put ashes on their head uh, as a symbol of repentance and because ashes are a symbol of death god told adam you are dust and to dust you shall return mm -hmm. and so we remember that we will die one day and that we will face god's judgment and that god will judge us based on the faith that we have in jesus christ and based and based on the works that we do which sh show the true faith that we have sure uh, father simon from saint michael's chaldean catholic church you want to give us your uh, oh I, th I think we've got your instagram account up there is that is yes, that, that twitter is the, as well um, or no, not twitter Oh, sorry? Yeah, that's the um, um, eparchy. So we're St. Peter's eparchy, uh, which is another word for diocese. And so you can follow uh, that church page for all the details of all of our, our events. There's your TikTok, father.simon. How many followers? Several hundred thousand? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> Great to talk to you. We appreciate the time. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless you all. Yeah, thank you.